Hi, this is Marty from Photoshop Art House. Today, I'm going to show you how to quickly convert high contrast, low resolution black and white raster images into sharp, scalable vector graphics, perfect for logos, icons, and artwork in any size. For your convenience, I provided this low resolution graphic that we could use for this project. Its link is in my video's description or project files. Feel free to use any graphic you like. To check its size and resolution, go to Image and Image Size. As you can see, its width and height are only 300 pixels each with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. To fit it onto our canvas, press Ctrl or Command-0. First, let's trim the image so it's cropped as close as possible to the graphic itself. Go to Image and Trim. We can trim it to either the top, left, or bottom right pixel. Trim away all four sides. Go to Window and Libraries. The Creative Cloud Libraries allow us to save graphic assets inside Photoshop and then easily access those same elements in other Creative Cloud apps. I'll open my existing libraries and either click the plus icon at the lower right of the panel, or I can create a new library. Once we click the plus icon, we'll see a list. Select Extract from Image. By default, it opens to Patterns, where we could scale it, and rotate the image inside the pattern. However, since we don't want a pattern, Click Shapes at the top. Here we can adjust the amount of detail or thickness of the shapes. I'll keep it in the middle at 50. Smoothing usually gives better results, so I'll click it to activate it. Then click Save to CC Libraries. Once we see the green saved notice, we can close the panel. Notice it created our graphic shape and placed it inside our library. Now that it's saved, we can access it in the libraries of other Creative Cloud applications. Click the plus icon at the bottom of the Layers panel to make a new layer. We'll fill it with white. Press Shift plus the F5 key at the top of your keyboard to open the Fill window, or go to Edit and Fill. Open the Contents list and select White. Now drag the graphic onto the white background. If you see this message, it's just letting you know that the graphic defaults as a smart object link back to our libraries. If you don't want it linked, hold down Alt or Option as you drag it. I'll drag it down and center it, and press Enter or Return. Now let's really increase its size and resolution to test if it retains its sharpness. Go to Image and image size. Set the resolution to, say, 300 pixels per inch, and the width to 3000 pixels. Let's enlarge it even more with the Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. At the top, make sure the chain link icon between the transform's width and height is active. Place your cursor over the W or the H, and when it changes into a scrubby slider, drag it to the right. This is Marty from Photoshop Art House. Thanks for watching.